listening to Facebook Live. Everybody, I am greeting you a blessed uh, morning today. At uh, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Balik po tayo sa ating uh, Facebook Live. At uh, ito po ang The Day of Hope in Jesus Christ live broadcast. Bob Miramar here and uh, wishing you a blessed Friday morning. Weekend once again. And it gets uh, into our nerves. We are so excited. And uh, weekend is uh, the way of, uh, you know, when we look at, when we look back from uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's Friday. Looking back, we can now count our blessings once again. We can now look back and count all the blessings that the Lord has allowed us to experience the whole week and also when we look forward it makes us excited as we prepare for another Sunday because there's only one day that is in the middle and in between Friday and Sunday and that's Saturday one day na lang preparation po natin yan every day is our worship day and uh, Friday is a wonderful day uh, some are already closing up their week so they are putting up much more of their energy in high gears to complete what they need to complete and also as Christian believers it is getting into higher gear closing in into another worship day Sunday Actually, again, I tell you, every day is our worship day. Every day is the Lord's day. And uh, thinking about life's circumstances, thinking about what this life had brought us, where we've been brought by this life. Of course, there is God. Of course, God directs every affair. God gives wisdom to every work. God supplies strength to everyone. He gives us 24 hours a day, several thousands of minutes every day. And so, it's high time to think about how if there is no God, how if there is no Jesus, what should happen to life? Ano kaya ang mangyayari sa buhay kung wala ang Panginoon? Kung ang Diyos ay maaari niyang i-orchestrate ang mga bagay-bagay in order for us to be enjoying this life, how if there is just no God at all? How if God is just, you know, so silent, so distant, and remote? The question is, can we still enjoy life or the enemy can enjoy over us, can take joy over us? But praise the Lord, God supplies His power, authority over us and He sent forth, He gave His only begotten Son, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. He is the Messiah because Jesus Christ is the one who stands in between God and His children, His people. He is the mediator. The Messiah is the mediator. The Messiah is God's advocate. Meaning we need an advocate, we need a defender, and God gives Him to be our defender. God gives Jesus to be our defender over every accuser. Evil, Satan, his demons, 
destruction, death. These are the accusers of life. These are the, the ones who challenge our life and our existence. But praise God, He gives Jesus to be the mediator, to be the Messiah. And in fact, He is called, he's called Jesus Christus. Why? Because He is the Savior of God's people. Christus, the Savior. Christ is the Savior. Now, let us take a look in a story told by the apostle called the beloved John. In John 11:38 to 47, Then Jesus again groaning in himself came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. What a statement. Take away the stone? Wow. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Have I not spoken to you that if you would only believe, you will see the glory of God? Hindi ba? Sinabi ko sa'yo, kung sumampalataya ka lang, makikita mo ang kalupalhatian ng Panginoong Diyos. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, praise the Lord, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Praise God. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. What did Jesus say? Lazarus, come forth. And he, had, and he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. Here are the statements that Jesus spoken not only for Martha and Mary, the sisters of his best friend Lazarus, but also for all the people stood by there so that Jesus had commanded these things and had prayed unto God so that these people who were with Martha and Mary would also believe in God, would see the glory of God. Now, putting our own selves into the shoes of those people standing by, Jesus can also say, so that Bob, hallelujah, may believe that you have sent me. Or Tess would believe that you have sent me. Or Arlene would believe that you have sent me. Or G would believe that you have sent me. Shall we pray? Our gracious and loving Father, you are so good and wonderful. You are so awesome. Can you, Lord, also allow our eyes to see your glory? As you continue to demonstrate your love, your powerful intervention over our life circumstances, over our life circumstances, over our life challenges, over our life's difficulties, over our life's hardships, obstacles, 
allow our eyes to be opened and remove hindrances for us to see your glorious manifestation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, if you're watching this video, can I just ask you to please click the like button, share, and you may also follow us in YouTube, Bob Miramar, The Day of Hope in Jesus Christ live broadcast. We're broadcasting live because we would want it to be a part of our daily thing. One of our agendas is to make people know that God is powerful and He gives His power and His authority over our life circumstances. And He gave Jesus for us just the way how Martha, Mary Magdalene, and the other people who were there present when Jesus came to their rescue. So the title of our exhortation for today, the uh, 26th day of April. The month of April is fast passing. And the month of May is so fast approaching. Let me remind you, we are going to open up another work of the Lord and that will be inside cinema number four in Santa Lucia East Grand Mall at the corners of Felix Avenue and Marcos Highway Cainta that highway coming from Aurora Cubao passing through Katipunan Avenue and that highway to the right when you reach that point where you will have to choose in a letter Y highway the other one from Katipunan going to the left via the river banks would be going to the city of Marikina and the other one at the right taking down the right highway is the start and the beginning of Marcos Highway that is going towards Antipolo going straight that will be going to Cogio via Masinag and then there are these uh, two major highways to the right up the one is Felix Avenue and the other one at the crossing of Masinag is Sumulong Highway so those who are living in, in, in Lower Antipolo those who are living in Cogio, in Masinag, living in the southeastern part of Marikina, and those who are living from the eastern part of Quezon City, from Katipunan or from Aurora, uh, down, uh, White Plains, down, and towards Cainta, Pasig, northeastern Pasig side, and those who are living near Taitai and Visa Verde and all of those subdivisions and villages there, let me tell you, Word of Hope Inta is just right there inside Cinema 4 of Santa Lucia East Grand Mall in the corners of Felix Avenue and Marcos Highway, Kainta. So see you there May 5. 10 o'clock 10 o'clock in the morning of May 5 God willing hallelujah it will start May 5 2019 onwards alright and hopefully by God's grace it will not only be for what we call that one 
one service but has to be multiple services then so thank you so jesus is god's power and authority over our lives circumstances how many of you who are not experiencing different types of circumstances in your life how many of you had not been having any kind of problem is there anyone meron po bang mga tao dito na uh, kay, kahit kailan hindi nagkaroon ng problema kahit kailan hindi nagkaroon ng challenges sa buhay kahit kailan hindi nagkaroon ng kabigatan sa buhay if you would remember the Lord Jesus Christ had also spoken in the book of Matthew chapter 11 28 in verse 28 ang sabi niya lumapit kay sa akin lahat ng mga nahihirapan lubha mga nabibigatan sa buhay come unto me those of you who are heavily laden and I will give you rest why? the Lord knows that each moment we also have to 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 thread our fear inside a circumstance crossing over a problem all right bordering hallelujah a challenge in life thank you for watching pastor g arlene tan thank you for watching tess arenas thank you for watching uh, is plana uh, Brother Benji Beltran, thank you for watching. So the the Lord Jesus Christ is God's power and authority over our life's circumstances. Glory be to God. So it means to me, when God provides Jesus Christ, His only His only begotten Son, the Apostle Paul puts this in this way: If God is able to give His Son for us. Could he not also be able, together with his son, give you everything, particularly with regards to our needs? Kung kaya ngang naibigay ng Panginoong Diyos ang kanyang bugtong na anak, hindi pa ba makakayang ibigay ng Panginoong Diyos kasama ang kanyang bugtong na anak sa ating buhay na ibigay niya ang lahat ng ating pangangailangan? Di ba, mga kapatid? So, ang akin pong tema ngayong umaga, uh, paano natin maire-reflect ang ating mga buhay dito po sa kwento at istorya na ikinuwento po ni Apostle John, who is called the Beloved. Itong pagbuhay muli ng Panginoong Jesus sa kanyang kaibigan si Lazarus. At hindi lang naman po si Lazarus ang nakatala sa Bible na binuhay ng Panginoon. At meron ding mga several instances, many instances, na ang Panginoon, ngayon nandun na siya sa langit, yung mga taong sumasampalataya sa Kanya, at yung maraming tao, katulad doon sa Africa, na kailangan pang i-win over para sumampalataya sa Diyos, ay meron din hong mga instances na ang isang bangkay ay muling binuhay. You can also watch this on YouTube. I-type ninyo sa search bar ng YouTube, The Man Who Was Raising Back to Life from Death. At ito ho ay experience ni Pastor, isang Assembly of God Pastor and Evangelist, Reinhard Banke, isang German pastor, an evangelist. Nakikita niyo po doon, yung isang alagad ng Panginoon, nagkaroon ng car me shop, patungo siya sa isang gawain ng Panginoon, at yung kanyang old Mercedes Benz ay bumangga, at siya ay namatay, tinakbo siya ng mga tao sa, sa hospital, he was proclaimed dead, and then, nilagay siya sa morgue, at doon, mayroong certificate na yung morgue technician, yung taong nag sa kanya, nag sa mo sa kanya, ay nag-certify na ito talaga ay na imbam niya at nandoon yung coffin, andoon yung morgue, andoon yung certification, andoon yung mga tao, yung mga doctor na nag-proclaim sa kanya that he was dead. But when he was brought, I mean, 
yung kanyang cadaver was brought by his wife because ang wife niya ay anak ng isang Mormonism minister. Dinala niya ito doon sa rally, evangelistic rally ni Dr. Reinhard Bonke. At habang nagsasalita si Dr. Reinhard Bonke, uh, these people carrying the cadaver uh, were told to leave the coffin outside the Coliseum where they were having this evangelistic crusade. And then they were told to just bring the cadaver, the remains of this pastor, down under, right into the basement, underground, where up there, Dr. Reinhard Bonke was preaching. And the intercessors started to pray for this cadaver. Reinhard Bonke got down, got down there, this man already sitting, and also asking for water. Now he went back alive to his village and he testified about the Lord Jesus Christ. It is just almost the same because Jesus Christ in uh, the book of John chapter 11, verse 41 and verse 42 to 43, uh, it says that the Lord Jesus Christ prayed unto God and he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me specifically for that instance and I know that you always hear me particularly for his personal direct connection access unto God while Jesus was on earth this is very amazing that he, we can also have access Apostle Paul put this way hallelujah put it in this way we now have our direct access to God by means of the Lord Jesus Christ so the same God also can hear and God also hears us always in our prayers. But because of the people who are standing by, Lord, I know, alam ko na pinakinggan mo ko at lagi kang nakikinig sa akin. At ngayon, dahilan po sa mga taong ito na nakapalibot ngayon sa amin sa lugar na ito, kaya ko ito sinasabi, Panginoon, upang sila, uh, uh, kaya ito sinasabi ko, Ama, upang silang mga taong naririto, ay sumampalataya na ako nga ay inyong sinugo sa uh, ka, para sa kanila. Puri ng Panginoon. Laging anong tawag dito? Uh, the Lord Jesus would always do amazing and What do we call that? Awesomely impossible things. Hi, Mary Grace Gallagher. Thank you for watching. Coming from the United States of America. We're back after several days of not able to broadcast but having, the, having uh, videos instead. All right. Um... What we call that? The Lord Jesus Christ, whenever He performs miraculous things, just for example, in John chapter 12, verse 30, He would always say, This is for you. Why? Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come because of me, but for your sake. Hi, hello, MG, Mary Grace Gallagher, MGG. Yeah, so in this particular particular place, it is not all about what would happen after the Lord Jesus Christ had come, not for His own benefits. Okay, let us put this way here, like this. Not for his own benefits, but for our benefits. So that's the reason why I have given us a simple title this morning. Jesus is the power and authority of God over our life circumstances. 
If you do have so many circumstances in your life, that means you need Jesus. If you have so many circumstances and challenges and problems in life, because there is this problem of evil. So that's the reason why, all right? There is this problem of evil. So if you have the Lord Jesus Christ, rejoice. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is God's power and authority over your life circumstances. And if you still do not have a personal relationship yet with the Lord Jesus Christ and with God, the Lord Jesus Christ is the one whom you really need. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is the power and God's authority over your life circumstances. So you need the Lord Jesus Christ. If you still do not have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, Today, you can have the Lord Jesus Christ. You can receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can just ask God the Father, hallelujah, to allow the Lord Jesus Christ to be upon your life, to be in your life. And you need to open up your heart for the Lord Jesus Christ. Number one, why we should need the Lord Jesus Christ. In verse number 39, Jesus said, Take away the stone. Graveyard stones are common in their kind of cemetery or graves to cover the opening. Why? Most of, the, of their times, they carve open rocks and stones or a hillside to make a tomb out of a cave. Because it is said, it is a cave. When Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus, it was a cave. It could be man-made cave. It could be naturally made cave. Hi, Fe, Tabug Aquino. Hello. Uh, um, Manolita Monte Venegas. Thank you for watching. So there was a stone covering identi identical to the cave where... Um, the Lord Jesus Christ's remains were led, were buried. The garden tomb of uh, Joseph of Arimathea. If you will go there today, you will surely see the empty tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ, traditionally speaking. Alright? So the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in verse 39 that said, Take away the stone. Hi, Richard. De La Vega. Thank you for watching, bro. Good morning. Regards to your family. The Lord Jesus Christ representing here that He is the power and authority of God that removes, all right, that could really remove away all signs of our difficulties all signs of our inabilities of course we are so limited human and frail as we are we are limited in many things human and frail personalities inside this casing this body made from flesh flesh made out from the dust of the soil by the power of God, we are having so many inabilities, difficulties in life. We are hindered by so many things. And so here comes the Lord Jesus Christ, God's power and authority over life circumstances, who can remove every difficulty, who can remove every hindrance, every blocking in your life. Lazarus was there, his dead, unable, made totally disabled by the absence of life, 
But here comes the Prince of Life who removes the hindrance, the stone. Ano kaya ang mga hindrances sa buhay mo? Hello, Sister Neng Raseles. Watching coming from the United States of America. God bless you po. <laughs> so nice to see your names here. Yeah. The Lord Jesus Christ is God's power and authority over life circumstances. Ano ba yung circumstances ng buhay mo? Meron ka bang mga inabilities? Meron ka bang mga hindrances, mga blocking ng buhay mo na kinakaharap? Alam mo, pag sumampalataya ka sa Panginoong Heso Kristo, He is able to command hindrances in your life to be moved away. Take away that stone, sabi niya. So number one, Jesus Christ is the only answer to life's circumstances, life's obstacles, life's difficulties. He is God's power and authority over our life's circumstances. As sabi niya sa verse 40, Hindi ko ba sinabi na sa iyo na kung mananalig ka lamang sa akin, that if you would believe, you will see the glory of God. Hindi ko ba sinabi sa iyo kapag sumampalataya ka lang? Alright? Jesus has the power and the authority of God to remove our life's obstacles, hindrances, difficulties. In our life circumstances, Jesus is the only answer. Number two, we need to believe in Jesus personally. Of course, if you can believe in, in Jesus personally, you will see God's powerful and glorious intervention upon your life's difficulties, upon your life's circumstances. Meron bang matinding problema nangyari sa'yo? Meron ka bang kinakaharap na matinding pangangailangan? Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the only answer. Jesus is God's answer given. Or, 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 all right, all right. <laughs> Manalig lamang tayo sa Panginoon. Sumampalataya tayo sa Panginoon. When we put our trust, when we put our faith in the Lord, we will see the glory of God. Ang sabi ni Jesus po doon sa John 11 verse 4, itong sakit na ito ay hindi na kamamatay but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Sapagat, nagkasakit na si Lazarus noon. Ang sabi sa verse number 1 ng John 11, Now a certain man was sick, his name Lazarus of Bethany. Kaya tinatawag na Lazarus of Bethany, sapagat marami marahil ang mga Lazarus noon. Kung kaya ito yung pinaka identity nila kay Lazarus na kaibigan ni Jesus kapag sinabing Lazarus of Bethany ang ibig sabihin niyan oh Jesus yung best friend mo may sakit Pag sinabing best friend mo na si Lazarus taga Bethany kapatid yan ni Martha at ni Maria kaya sabi daw sa verse 1 uh, Lazarus of Bethany the town of Mary and her sister Martha it was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. So si Mary Magdalene ito, Mary Magdala. And therefore the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, nagpautos na po ng mga messengers ang magkakapatid patungo kay Jesus kasi he was away from Bethany during those times. Behold, he whom you love is sick. Ang ganda, no? Lord, itong kaibigang mahal na mahal mo ay may sakit. Ngunit nung marinig ni Jesus ang mga mensahe galing sa mga inutusan ni Mary at Magdalene, ang kanyang sagot lamang, ang sakit na ito ay hindi nakamamatay. Alam ng Panginoon. Ang sakit na ito ay hindi nakamamatay. Ngunit, para ito sa kalawalatian ng Ama, upang ang anak ng Diyos ay maluluwalhati sa pamamagitan nito. 
Pero kapatid, huwag din natin iisipin na ginagamit ng Diyos, sinadyan ng Diyos na magkasakit ang kanyang kaibigan. No. Life circumstances nga ho eh. So there would be people say this way, Bakit ako ginanito ng Diyos? Kung meron siyang cancer, kung meron siyang problema sa pamilya, kung meron siyang problema sa kanyang uh, pananalapi o negosyo, o kaya meron siyang mabigat na problema sa kanyang love life, meron siyang mabigat na problema sa kanyang asawa, sa kanyang anak, bukod pa sa kanyang problema, sa kanyang sarili, at sasabihin niya, O Diyos ko, Diyos ko, bakit mo ako ginaganito? Hindi ho ganun yon. Remember, we have a problem with evil. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, ang nagahari sa sanlibutan ito ay ang jablo. So sa makatuwid, kapatid, ang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng sorrow, ang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng problema, ang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng mabibigat na sitwasyon, sakit karamdaman, ay hindi ang Panginoon. Are you listening? Ang pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng issues na ito ay ang Diablo, ang kaaway ng Panginoon. Okay? Ang Diablo, ang kaaway ng Diyos. Kung kaya, kung mahal na mahal tayo ng Panginoong Diyos, tinuturing tayong anak ng Diyos, ang kanyang kaaway ay naging kaaway na rin natin. Basically, He is so jealous. Bakit tayo nilikhas ang ayon sa wangis at larawan ng Panginoon at pinaghahandaan pa ng Diyos ng buhay na walang hanggan sa langit. Samantalang si Satan doon sa langit, pinalaya siya ng Panginoon together with his fallen angels. Hi Sister Arlene Fulhensio, you are watching from Cagayan de Oro City. Thank you so much my dear sister. Makikita kayo ng Women's Ministry ng atin pong Word of Hope family. Sister Arlene Fulhensio was with Word of Hope Nubalitzes, one of our um, masisigasig na ushers doon. When I was there in Word of Hope Nubalitzes, serving as uh, pastor doon po uh, sa dating Cinema 8 at saka Cinema 6 ng Robinson's uh, Big R, Robinson's Mall, along Kerino Highway, Nova Leaches, just across SM Fairview. Andoon kami nagkasama-sama la Sister Arlene. Alam niyo po ba, doon po ako nag-start na magiging pastor, galing po sa pagiging isang miyembro po ng men's ministry. At tawag doon sa men's ministry, deputy, hakot boys, bantay boys, security boys, martial boys. Doon po ako nang galing. Nung ako po ay meron pang dinadrive na taxi na biyaya din at kaloob ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan po ni Brother Elvin Tan at ng kanyang pamilya. Hi Brother Elvin Tan, thank you so much. Sister Rhea Tan at saka si Lizette at uh, saka si Ate Kay, ang kanilang dalawang mga anak na ngayon ay mga professionals na din. To God be the glory, thank you po sa pagiging masunuri ninyo sa call ng Panginoon. Binless niyo po kami, kami ng mga kapatid ninyo sa Panginoon, na noon ay mga simpleng empleyado lamang sa amin pong mga pinapasukan. Uh, kasama kami doon sa tinatawag ni Apostle Paul na mga servants, okay, ng aming mga employers, at isa po sa mga uh, God-fearing employers namin ay walang iba kundi si brother Elvin Lim Tan Thank you so much kapatid ang laki ng utang na loob namin sa inyo at kayo po yung mga taong hindi naniningil ng utang na loob at ang Diyos po magpahala sa inyo uh, ng higit-higit pa sa inyong inaasahan So sinasabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo dito sa John 11 verse 4 hanggang uh, Dito nga po sa bahagi ng John 11 verse 44. Okay? Nang mga bagay na ito ay nangyayari upang makilala ng mga tao ang anak ng Diyos na ipinadala, Jesus, who's got the power.
power and authority from God over our life circumstances. And then in verse 23, coming from the same chapter, John 11, Jesus said, Your brother will rise again. Hindi po ginagawa ng Diyos tayo na sangkalan upang gamitin para lamang makilala siya ng lahat ng mga tao. Kapatid, sino man sa atin ang mayroong mga problema sa buhay, iba't ibang uri ng issue sa buhay, huwag na huwag nating masasabi, Panginoon, bakit mo ako ginaganito? Do not question God like that. Bakit mo ako ginaganito? Bakit mo ako pinapahirapan? Bakit mo ako pinabayaan? God is allowing some circumstances sometimes in order for us to see His power. Now, if you are passing through difficulties, if you are passing through many kinds of difficulties in life, ang sasabihin natin, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. So here, Jesus Christ is the power of God and authority, authority of God over our life circumstances. Siya yung nag-aalis ng hadlang. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon, alisin ng Panginoon yung lahat ng hadlang sa buhay natin. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon, alisin ng Panginoon yung lahat ng mga problema na tinatanggap natin at yung problema na ito ay magiging tuntungan natin upang manalig tayo sa Panginoon. At makita natin ang kalawalatian ng Diyos. Dr. Ilya Tihada, thank you so much for watching. You're coming from the United States of America. Dr. Ilya has been with us in Word of Hope General Hospital, serving as one of the uh, meek and so kind as a doctor. Uh, siya po ay anak ng isa sa mga board of elders ng Word of Hope na si Kuya Loloy Chavez. At ang pamilyang ito ay ginamit ng Panginoon, lalo na nung ako ay nagpapasimula pa lamang sa ministry doon po sa Word of Hope Novalitzes sa Robinson's Place. Ginamit sila ng Panginoon until nalipat na po ako ng Word of Hope Maine at napunta na po ako ng Word of Hope Manila. Wow! Praise the Lord! Ang alaala, Doktora, mananatili gaano kayo ginamit ng Panginoon. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Katulad ni Mary Grace Gallagher, uh, kapatid po siya ni um, Al Al Alrish, Queen Alrish, at uh, magkasama din po kami sa Word of Hope Manila nung sila ay nandito pa sa Manila. Hello, Alrish! Nasa Pampanga po ang kanyang sister. Kahawig na kahawig po ni Mary Grace. Salamat sa mga batang ito. So for us to see the glory of God. Now, let me just, you know, comment these things because I have already taken much of your time. I'm sorry, I am so driven with the passion and the power moving in my heart. I, I sense that anointing. The Lord Jesus Christ has been given to us as the power and the authority of God over our life circumstances. Aran sabi niya, ang mga bagay nito ay nangyayari so that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Number one, kung meron po kayo, ah, marami na ako sinasabi kanina, number one, ano? Number one, si Jesus yung nakakaalis ng mga hadlang sa buhay natin. Roll away, roll away the stones, okay? Ah, si Jesus din po ang dahilan, number two, para makita natin kaluhatian, kaluhatian ng Panginoon over our life circumstances. Number three, consider our life circumstances as God's instruments. Although ang mga life circumstances natin ito ay atake ng kaaway, alright? Somewhere and somehow, nagiging accomplished tayo ng kaaway upang mangyari ang mga bagay na ito, mga problema na ito, at uh, meron ding mga bagay na nagiging problema sabagat ginawa ito sa atin ng kapwa natin uh, ikatatlo mga bagay na ito yung nangyayari sapagat ito yung ginugusto ng kaaway natin kaaway natin ang kaaway ng Panginoon God's enemy number one, Satan is also had become our enemy because we now receive the Lord Jesus Christ ayaw na ayaw niya na tayo ay makarating to our upang pangako in heaven to our real home uh, sabi ni Paul Paul the Apostle put that in this way we are now citizens of heaven and we had uh, begun to become pilgrims, sojourners of, of the world. We are just passing through this life. 
And so in this life where we pass through, has got so many problems, has got so many issues, has got so many trouble. Number one, minsan nakagawa din tayo ng mali at ito yung nagdudulot ng problema sa buhay natin. Number two, mga tao na ginagamit din ang kaaway upang makagawa ng mali sa atin kung kaya tayo nasasaktan. Number three, ito ang gustong patibong ng jablo upang mahulog tayo sa kadustaan, sa destruction. This Satan and together with his demons, his demonic accomplices, they are wreaking havoc in this life. But praise God, Jesus Christ is the power and authority of God over our life's problems and circumstances and difficulties and issues. He can intervene. He can remove all the hindrances for you to be promoted. He can remove every sickness for you to be healed. Hallelujah. He can make all your problems and all of your issues to be instruments for you, for you and for me to see God's glory in our life as we live here on earth as we tread our feet in this temporary journey as we pass through this pilgrimage someday the total and the grand revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ upon our life shall happen and we can say and just sigh and say who praise God you see Jesus Christ in verse number 44 said when Lazarus got out from the tomb bound with grave clothes and his face was covered with cloth, merong bandage, parang mummy, alright? Jesus Christ said, Lose him and let him go. Yung bandages si Lazarus, the Lazarus bandages, covering his eyes, his ears, his mouth, his whole body, his face, his hands, his foot, that bandages represents inabilities, hindrances. Ito yung nagpapadisabled sa atin na magalaw natin yung ating kamay, magalaw natin yung ating mga paa, yung ating mga joints and limbs, yung ating buong pagkatao. Ito yung humahad lang sa atin upang makita natin ang kalulatian ng Panginoon itong mga, itong mga uh, grave cloth na ito na sinasabi ni Jesus nakakover kay Lazarus sa kanyang tenga para marinig natin ang boses ng Panginoon ang tinig ng Panginoon para matakpan yung ating ilong para hindi natin maamoy ang ganda ng halimuyak ng atmosphere na pinagharian ng Panginoon maamoy mo yung anointing ng Panginoon masense mo ng iyong spirito saan gumagawa kumikilos ang Panginoon yung bibig mo ay tinakpan itong graveyard uh, grave cloth na ito para hindi mo mapupuri ang Panginoon at hindi mo maluwalhati ang Panginoon hindi ka makakapanalangin sa Panginoon hindi ka makaaawit sa Panginoon ito'y nakabalot sa iyong liig para maging stiff neck ka at hindi mo manilingunan kung saan ang presensya ng Panginoon but the Lord Jesus Christ commanded people who were with Him lose Lazarus and let him go kung ako yun sasabihin ng Panginoon lose Bob and let Bob go. Kung si Sister Arlene Folhensio yun, sabi ng Panginoon, lose Arlene Folhensio and let her go. Kung si Grace Gallagher yun, sabi ng Panginoon, lose Mary Grace Gallagher and let her go. Kung si Doktora Ilya Tejada, Ichavis Tejada yun, sabi ng Panginoon, lose Ilya Ichavis Tejada and let her go. Hallelujah. Let her go, let him go, and let them go for them to see the glory of God through me. So the Son of God shall be glorified through these kinds of circumstances. Number one, powerful to remember why problems are allowed to happen for us to believe in the Lord. Number two, why problems are allowed to happen because of the presence of the enemy, yes, because of our problem with evil, for us to see the glory of God. Why problems are allowed to happen? For us to see Jesus, to believe in Jesus Christ, for us to see the glory of God. Number three, for us to be able to appreciate and enjoy newness of life. 
newness of life. Newness of life. Alright? Yung bagong uri ng buhay kumpara sa buhay nung nakaraan, kumpara sa buhay na nakagapos, kumpara sa buhay na binaluta ng pambulag, pampabingi, at lahat ng balot ng disability, at ngayon ang bagong buhay ay punong-puno ng musika ng pananampalataya, punong-puno ng pagpupuri, punong-puno ng kagalakan, pasasalamat, punong-puno ng sigla, nagagalaw mo ang iyong buong katawan sapagat you are already loosed. Alam sabi ng Panginoon in Matthew 18, 18 to 20, it says, Bible says, Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Wherever there are two or three gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Whenever two of you agree together, anything that you ask in my name, it shall happen. It shall be done. Sabi ng Panginoon Yeso Cristo. Do you believe in this? Shall we bind together our faith? Wow, praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for you have given us this time and this moment. Four o'clock in the morning is a wonderful time. Every moment in this life is so wonderful. And Lord, if we have Jesus in our, in our life, any kind of problem, any kind of circumstance doesn't affect Anyhow, problems, obstacles, and hindrances, they all become insignificant. Because when Jesus sits in the throne of our heart, then Jesus means everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity. And I pray that you will bless Mary, Grace Gallagher, you bless Doctora Ilya, bless Arlen Folhencio, bless Atineng Raseles, bless Richard de la Vega, bless Manolita Monte Ven, Ven, Ven Niegas, and bless Fe Aquino, Hallelujah, bless Benji Bolran, bless Tess Arenes Esplana, uh, bless Arlen Tan, bless Pastora G, and Yung lahat ng manunood nito, itong video na ito. Salamat, pagpalay mo ang mga buhay ngayon hanggang sa araw ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Father, thank you. Bless the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Minanao. Protektahan mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng bahagi ng Pilipinas laban sa mga aftershock at mga damages nito. Lord, continue to make us aware and alert, enthusiastic, to praise you and to honor you and to thank you, Lord, even during uh, challenges and circumstances because the Lord Jesus Christ is provided. Bless our kababayans where they are right now around the globe. Sabi ng Propeta Isaiah, ang kamay mo, Panginoon, ay hindi maigzi para hindi mo marating at maabot pagpalain ang iyong mga anak sa iba't ibang dako ng daigdig. You are so rich, you are so powerful and mighty, O oh God, our Father. Allow us to see your glory in every part of this life's journey, in every part where we uh, operate according to the faith that you would want us to operate by, and allow us to obey and follow you to see your glory in every circumstance and every need. Lord, Thank you for allowing us to work with you in opening up Word of Hope Kainta this coming May 5. And uh, thank you for all the people that you have given and entrusted to us. Thank you for all the families that you are bringing there. Thank you, Lord, for all the support, all the supply. Thank you, Lord, for Word of Hope Maine as a church leading us. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Dr. Dave Sabrepenia, the, pa the, the, the founder of and the senior pastor of Word of Hope. Thank you, Lord, for all the brothers and sisters who've been our mentors in this faith, whom you've used and using to bring us here where we are right now. Bless everybody. Lahat ang may sakit, Lord, bigyan mo sila ng pagkakataon, makita nila ang kaluwalhatian mo at makilala nila si Jesus sapagat ito yung purpose Bakit may mga bagay na nangyayaring ganito? 
gagamitin mong instrumento, Panginoon, stepping stone namin, makita namin ang kalulatian mo, Ama, at makilala si Kristo over our life's circumstances and challenges. Thank you, Lord, for blessing everybody. Bless my children, Joby Shirel, Francis, Christel, Bayo, Joyce, Jeremiah, JD, and DJ. Bless our co-workers in Word of Hope Marikina and in Word of Hope Kainta. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, we also ask you to bless the National Men's Ministry under the Philippine General Council of the Assemblies of God through Dr. Dave Sarbrepenia. And also the upcoming convention, Women's Convention, this May 6 to 9 in Cagayan de Oro City. Lord, mga brothers and sisters namin, pagpalain mo yung mga nandudoon sa mga shorelines, yung mga nakatira doon, malapit sa mga dalampasigan, mga nakatira, malapit sa mga identified and still unidentified volcanic faults, earthquake faults, Lord. Uh, pagpalain mo sa ingatan mga nasawi at nasawian ng mahal sa buhay because of this earthquake sa summer maging sa Pampanga sa Mbalis, Panginoon, dalangin namin ang iyong kamay na makapangyarihan, umabot sa kanila at ang mga pangyayaring ito ay maging dahilan upang makilala nila ang Panginoon Yesu Kristo maraming maraming salamat Panginoon to God be all the glory in Jesus mighty name Amen Amen.